Hey guys, this is Jared with Lightshine 3D Services. A couple of days ago, someone had posted this picture and asked um, where, where they could get the files for uh, creating this. And a lot of people um, were, were really critical and said, look, you can draw that. It takes five minutes, takes 30 seconds, takes whatever. Um, but I noticed that there wasn't much help given on actually helping the person get the file. So I just wanted to do a, a tutorial uh, this might take several videos to do because believe it or not it's not just a 30 second or even really a five minute um, draw this probably takes closer to 10 minutes depending on your skill level um, but it's it's not that bad if you know uh, what you're doing if you have a little bit of CAD skills you could probably turn this out pretty fast um, but in Corel draw uh, there's some things that you want to do and, and that'll make it easier so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through this whole project so bear with me um, I'll try to keep the videos no more than about two or three, maybe four minutes each. So um, this is what your final parts will look like. So if you have trouble visualizing that this is this all laid out, um, this is what it's going to look like. I have cut one out and tested it to make sure that everything would work. Um, so uh, this should work. You might need a little bit of adjustments on the nodes to uh, compensate for your wood. Um, I'm using just kind of an eighth inch Baltic birch that seem to work fine. Um, so anyway, let's let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is draw a rectangle. I'm going to create my base part. Now I'm going to put my dimensions in here. I'm, I just use two and a half by one. So that's what I'm going to put in 2.5 tab one enter. Uh, so that gives me the right size. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that because uh, I need two of those. One's going to have the, the plus sign in it. The other one is not. I'm going to zoom in here and show you how I would create this. So the first thing I like to do is throw some guidelines into the center points, just so I know exactly where I'm, where I'm going to be working. Um, and then I'm going to just draw a rectangle up above somewhere. Now this rectangle, I want to try to get close to what I see in this picture here. Um, and if I click on my plus sign here, I can see my exact dimensions that I use. So I use 1.5 as my width. I'm going to keep with those dimensions. So I'm just going to type in 1.5 and the bottom number, the height, is going to be critical. So what I'm going to do is take my calipers and actually measure the wood that I have. And keep in mind that the, the curve of your laser is going to allow a little bit on each side. So if I'm measuring this to be 0.117, I might actually want to make my cut somewhere closer to 0.116. I'm going to try that and see how it works. So um, here it goes, 0.116, enter. And that is going to be the part that I put right here. I'm going to do the same thing for a vertical rectangle. Um, I already know what that width was, so I'm going to put that now as the width here, 0.116. And then my height, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do to make it a little bit easier, make it uniform, I'm going to go ahead and place it in the center here. I'm going to put a guideline right on top of this line and I'm going to change my nudge distance to 0.25 and I'm going to nudge that guideline up to 0.25. Wow, that looks like it almost hit exactly on it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to trust that. I'm going to move... Oh, oh. Sorry about that. Just about messed up. Two, five. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is actually move that to where it is on the line and not just appearing close to the line. Okay, now that I have that plus sign drawn, I can select the whole plus sign. Don't select this outside portion here. I'm going to weld that together. And that way I've got my actual corners cut out and everything trimmed out. All right, so this is, becomes a part that's going to be critical for the rest of this design. I'm going to stop this video, and then I'll pick up with you in the next one. 